Hey guys, I'm your host Triple C. How's everyone doing today? Today I'm bringing you Tiger Force Dick and the Tiger Ram Cycle. First we're going to start with Dick, and then we're going to go into the Ram Cycle. Now, Conrad S. Hauser, codenamed Duke, is a character who first came to stardom through the real, a real American hero toy line in the animated television series of the 80s. Born in St. Louis, Missouri, Duke speaks several languages. Due to his high honors at the U.S. Army Special Language School, taking his talents to Fort, <clears throat> to Fort Benning, he graduated at the top of his class. You know, it's amazing how many Joes graduate at the top of their class. It's funny, how many schools are there that have people graduate at the top of their class. I mean, if it's the same school, <laughs> I mean, only one can graduate at a time <laughs> at the top. Anyways, um, Duke is second in command behind only General Hawk. Beyond the Joes, Duke has lit his expertise to the task force of Star Brigade, Tiger Hook Force, and the Ant Avian Task Force. Now, in the cartoon, Duke was second in command, and there was always like a romance between him and Scarlet, which I always liked. Um, sometimes Scarlet would go out, we see that she was going out with uh, Snake Eyes, and I didn't like that. Was, that was just weird. I mean, she always. Um, Seems to go back and forth between them. <laughs> um, but Duke was my favorite character growing up. He was one of uh, my main Joes growing up. I didn't have Flint until later on. And I didn't ever get Hawk. Um, I didn't really care for him as a, as a kid. I, I, I liked Duke and Flint more, but I never got Flint until later on. Um... I had Duke, Sharkwave, Snake Eyes, Backblast, Top Spin, and a few other ones were, uh, um, and a few other ones I, I had. But those were my main, um, Joes that I played with. But yeah, uh, Duke has, uh, four accessories. He has this backpack that came with the original Duke. Now, well, oh well, that's, that's fine. That backpack is, um, I never liked it because it doesn't hold anything, you know, it gets a pointless backpack. He has the same, um, machine gun that, uh, uh, soccer has. It has a clip on it too. The clip stays in it pretty well. And it just goes into that hole right there. And it clips in securely. Which is nice. A lot of these guns don't clip in securely. Which is why I don't like uh, magazines or clips. He has this gun, which a lot of people call it a Nerf gun. Which, I mean, I, I guess. It, it looks like it looks good to me, just with the light on it. And then, um, but I don't know guns very well. At all, actually. <laughs> and he has this. This is the binoculars set. Or, um, a, I guess this is a, a binocular. Or... Uh, Someone was tell me what the technical term for this is. Is it binoculars? Is, I thought binoculars had two things. I, I'm not sure what this is actually called. Um, but yeah, I always like the Tiger Force. Uh, I'm ho hoping that we get more Tiger Force characters. I know we're getting Roadblock and Tripwire. Hoping I can pick those up because those are 
to that I must have I must have the entire collection of Tiger Force. I must complete that line at seventeen. There's over thirty characters in that, so I'm hoping that we get all of them. Um and I'm hoping that we get more vehicles. I've gotten two vehicles uh, two Tiger Force Ram cycles so far. Two of these and then I had um the Tiger Skyhawk or Tiger Hawk is it very you call it? Uh, made up from a 3D printer. And th that's the awesome vehicle. That's the vehicle I actually give Duke. And I give this to uh, Dusty or uh, Flint. Tiger Force Flint or Tiger Force Dusty. But um, let's move on to Tiger Ram for a second. The Tiger Ram cycle. Okay. It is the rapid. Artillery motorcycle. It has a giant jetting cannon on the side of it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, if you were fired this at a motorcycle, wouldn't you skate out of control? Make, wouldn't that make you not be able to? I mean, unless the motion of the, you know, going forward counteracts it. But I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not familiar with guns, so I'm not sure how that would actually. If this is actually work in real life or not. <laughs> I mean, I would understand if it was a laser gun, because laser guns don't really have as much um, recoil as a real gun, to my knowledge. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, but to my knowledge, laser guns shouldn't have recoil because lasers are just light that shoot out. Even though they're solid to a point where they can cut things, but heat, well, they're not always solid, they're more like heat. Anyways, I'm hoping that we get more Tiger Force vehicles, like the uh, Tiger Sting and my favorite Tiger Force vehicle, the Tiger Cat. Those vehicles would be awesome to have. And the Tiger Fish and Tiger Shark would also be possibilities in the future because um, they are small enough for the line and uh, the, the tiger shark isn't much bigger than you know longer than the uh, the uh, vamp skinnier than the vamp maybe a little bit longer maybe um but uh, yeah I, I doubt we'll ever see the tiger fly or tiger rat but i hope we get the other ones okay as for Duke, he has a lot of great articulation like all the other Joes do. He can move his arms up that much. He can do a full 360 at the shoulder, a full 360 at the bicep, double jointed elbows. His wrists on one hand can moving this and then his other one has the hinge at the bottom of his wrist. And then his head can do a full 360. <laughs> Crack it. He can look up. He can look down. Um, he has a, a great uh, bicep ab crunch. He has a waist swivel. He has drop down the leg so he can do the splits. The fall van man. Um, he has a swivel at the hip so he can swivel his legs. Like all the air Joes do. <laughs> his knees are double jointed. His foot can uh, pivot up. Pivot down. It can also do a full 360 at the top of the boot. And the foot can swivel too all the way around. It's on a ball joint and a hinge. So it's, it has a great deal of motion. The who came up with this design is really genius. This is a really clever way to do feet. 
you know, if Hasbro would uh, take a, you know, uh, cooperate with the other lines that they have, like Star Wars and um, um, Marvel Legends, and make bucks like this for the other lines, those lines would probably be a lot better off. I'm not saying they're not doing good or bad. I'm just saying I think they'd be better off because G.I. Joe is killing it with articulation, with deco, with you know, everything that they have going for it, weapons. And, uh, I don't know. I, if, uh, I just wish the, um, like the Marvel Legends came with more accessories. It's the same with Star Wars. All right, the binocular or viewfinder or whatever you want to call this goes on the back. It clips on his little peg, and it goes into that hole on his back of his belt. And then the gun goes in his holster, and he can hold the gun and his. Either hand, he can hold the gun. Alright. Let me. Alright, now, uh, the rapid artillery motorcycle, the Tiger Ram, uh, he can uh, ride it. You don't have to pay his feet in, his hands hold um, pull on well enough. If you do want to pay him in, he'll be in there securely. So, and you just want to put his hands on the handlebars, and the handlebar does turn the wheel. But if you wanted to take the gutter can off, you could. And you can use that as a weapon too, I'll show you in a second. And you can have a kickstand right here. And he can just be like this. Now this can open up and he can use the uh, gather can as a weapon too. Now I wish that when they made Breaker he came with the actual weapon but uh, because Duke came with the actual weapon. I don't see why um, Breaker uh, yeah Breaker didn't come with the weapon. Besides the gutter cannon. But if you want to put it back in, it just... It slides back in there. And it just clips back up together. And you can put this on this side. And it gives you even more stability. But yeah, uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the Tiger Force Tiger Ram and Tiger Force Duke? Uh, he's one of my favorites. I still want to get the Retro Duke. I uh, have him up there with my leaders. But this is the one that uh, goes out to battle. Um, do you guys even like Tiger Force? What's your favorite Tiger Force vehicle? And what's your favorite Tiger Force figure? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button. And subscribe. Thank you guys. Yo, Joe.